Hello, this is Ashok. I am making this video as a part of academic writing course offered by UGC MOOCs Swayam courses. So, this video is particularly for subjective assignment one. Hello, um, good evening. Uh, this is Ashok. Uh, I am making this course as a part of academic writing MOOCs Swayam courses. So, um, today I am going to discuss um, a quick review on foundation for embedded system and so before that I would like to put a question to you all what is an engineering so how, how do we define it is the question so I would like to tell you uh, the answer is the purposeful use of science so let me speak about uh, take an example uh, electric fan so the physics or the science behind that is mutual induction and the purposeful use of mutual induction we use uh, uh, as a fan so fan uh, will provide us a air for compatibility so that is the purposeful use of science and another interesting question I would like to put to you is what is the mathematics so very difficult question many definitions are available in society so I would like to give you in-depth and clear-cut definition so for that I would like to uh, put some questions so what is this uh, a d square x by dt square plus b times dx by dt and c times x is equals to d it's if you if you ask this what is this and anyone in the world uh, if if they are the mathematicians so they can reply that it's a differential equation of order q and if you ask the same question to any electronic engineer they will answer you that so it has two energy sources inside it it's a electric circuit so any any person in the world uh, the electronic <coughs> engineer can tell you the same answer and <coughs> look at that equation so uh, Vm minus V1, <coughs> Vb, V2, V3 is equals to 0. It's probably if you put a question to them, that means um, any electrical engineer, they will probably tell us that it's a Kirchhoff voltage law. So by these two examples, I come to conclusion that mathematics is a common language so mathematics is a language uh, who can understand it and engineers so that's why mathematics is a language not only language but also it gives some reason and another interesting question what is a circuit circuit is a special type of word which deals with closed loops only and another interesting question is what is a network so network will deal with open loops and closed loops as well and some fuzzles I would like to give you so what is this ground phone recorder and tape recorder so VCD player uh, this is first uh, first time TV first generation television and this is the evaluation from uh, one generation to 5G so this is how the development will take place see if you observe the below figure so you, you, you uh, so 4G 5G networks so how the system will simplify so 5G if you look at the 5G so the screens entire cell phone become transparent so you can use your cell phone in either ways that means you can uh, you can operate it uh, back side and also front side also so the 4G 
is a high speed networks so which can help us to browse videos signals and everything and uh, well, we have uh, some overview on the computers how the computer revolution will take place how the computer and uh, electronic gadgets will contribute for the embedded system is the question so this is the first computer um, proposed uh, by Charles Babiji uh, may also called uh, difference engine so uh, which was developed 1832 so um, it's too complex and uh, not portable and um, it, uh, it uh, it's very difficult to carry one place to another place so it's car uh, it's cost seventeen thousand seven hundred four hundred and seventy so and uh, an interesting revolution has takes place so by the invention of uh, uh, um, vacuum tubes this is vacuum tube first electronic computer so there I given some list the, 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 the length of first, uh, first electronic computer 63 meters square and it, it consumes in the power uh, 150 kilowatts so it can perform 5000 5, simple addition and subtraction operations so our any engineer aim is to reduce the size of a system so the, the simple systems are uh, uh, likes by the consumers so the scenario has been changed so uh, I mean to say that uh, vacuum tubes are uh, power hungry so which means it consumes very power and also dissipates high power so the scenario has been changed in 1947 by the invention of bipolar transistor by William Shockley and Bradian and Bradian at Bell Laboratories so the, the, the after that in 1958 Jock Kilby has invented uh, a circuit on ship uh, what I mean to say they it, it's an integrated circuit the circuit is uh, placed uh, on a single surface and leads will take out so this is the first integrated uh, develop uh, integrated circuit uh, which, which 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 completely changes the whole shape and this is the first commercial microprocessor was launched by Intel so 1971 um, uh, every transistor will work with the speed of 108 one kHz PMOS only and the size of transistor is uh, 10 micro uh, meter process and uh, Pentium 4 microprocessor in 2000 in 2000 it released uh, 42 million transistors are integrated on a single die and the transistor work, works with a speed of 2 gigahertz operation and the size of the transistor would be 0 0.18 micrometer and intel core to quad it's it's completely a highly efficient systems so uh, we are using today uh, it was released in the year 2018 and 820 million transistors are integrated on a single die with a thumb size so every transistor will work with a speed of 8.23 gigahertz operation and the, the size of transistor would be 45 nanometers so these are some parameters and uh, you know these are given for your reference and how the IC will be manufactured it from SAD to IC I given some process and uh, these are the scaling of the circuit so now I am would like to show you the generation how the system will go on these are the modules and the design abstraction level has uh, like this so system on ship modules gears circuits device so number of devices are uh, connected each to each together then the circuit we can call it circuit number of circuits are placed on a single die we can call it as 
gate. Number of gates are formed to perform some operations. We can call it's a module. After that, n, n number of modules are integrated on a single die. Then that that we can call a system. So these are the most important softwares uh, to work with uh, embedded systems. So Arduino, Metalab, um, Proteus, Kiel, Processing, Ansys, Camsol, Tana Tools, Minter Graphics. So these are these are the important tools. How often we can use um, in in elect electronics field. So this is this is example of an embedded system. There 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 you can see the the block square box. It's a processor. That processor will control the LED with a half second delay. So we programmed them as for one second delay. And uh, this is virtual programming of an embedded systems. So to on and off uh, four LEDs. So this is a, another interesting example of an embedded system who can work with sophisticated speed, sophisticated system with a high accuracy in VLSA chip manufacturing companies. So these are some examples and writing mission and uh, controlling motion and operating the devices from your mobile and satellite communication and the servo motor mechanism these all are the examples of an embedded systems so uh, that's it thank you very much for your uh, patience um,